Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from OSCON 2016 in Austin, Texas. I'm here with Sanki Lee. Sanki, how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. I'm so glad to come back to, to Austin. Austin right? Yes, yeah. you taught I here for many years. years. Yeah. Exactly. So you're the uh, chief technology officer for a large part of Huawei. Yes. And yesterday you had a, a, a keynote about ICT infrastructure provider that Huawei is and your transformation and migration to the cloud. Yeah, yes. Can you talk a little bit about that? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, well, yes. Happens around the world today, right? We're in the digital world. New digital economy, whatever people talk about it. Where every business sector will become digital business. Okay, it fundamentally will impact. You know, people say two thirds of global economy, huge potential with this digital revolution for every industry sector, not just in the consumer space. Right. Now, therefore, Huawei as an ICT infrastructure provider. And ICT means? ICT means the convergence of IT technology and communication technology, okay. CT. Okay. So it's a combination of these. This is the, what happens largely driven by this digital revolution. Okay, if as a foundation for this whole thing. So it happens, this internet transformation actually happens across three layers. Okay, and, and start with telecommunication internet. I've been very successful, continue to be transformed to the cloud. And then what's, what we have seen in the data center world, right? The cloud transformation, virtualization, automations happens. And, all the, and then also in the next 10 years, a lot of things will happen at so-called industrial internet layer. Basically, anything you could imagine, man-made devices will become digitally transformed with the sensors, Right. With the mobility, with all the connect. Where the physical world and the right. digital world collide. Yes. 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 yes, So these three layers, so which, why it explains the ICT infrastructure is undergone through the cloud transformation across. For the same reason, Huawei, now looking back six years ago, we made a strong commitment, strategic decision to embrace such cloud transformation. Okay, mainly to expand. People know us from telecommunication technology to the IT technology. From CT to IT, that's the ICT convergence. Right. And also the consumer side, right? The mobile exactly. handset and so on. Right, so how did you guys then decide, <laughs> I don't know if it was six years ago or when, but how did open source become involved with this conversion and this transition? Because right. and then, it's a core part of yes, what you're uh, doing. Yes, that's a very good question. So if you look at these uh, transformations, right? People, it's not just like traditional CT, IT, the products in the infrastructure, like the server, networks, whatever, right? It, it uh, used to be more based on the hardware. This individual product will continue to be transformed, become software defined, abstracted, programmable. But more importantly, this transformation is about the platform across all these products to enable the transformation in the infrastructure level. Okay, that's what the platforms are. And if you look at this platform, while we invested substantially, like uh, uh, in the last six years, we have uh, six platform initiatives. Like for instance, IoT connectivity as recently, okay, infrastructure in the data center, network, software defined, virtualization, yeah, yeah, yeah. a video solution end to end, uh, plus more digital operations. So all these six, now back to the question, how, why it's related to open source. Right. Back to the, the whole digital economy, it's about the openness, collaborations, and the sharing, right? So, and how to fast engage with the customer, and most of this technology need to be in the open domain, and where the innovations happens, in the open source community, exactly. which you can leverage, you can learn, you can contribute, and to build these platforms. So the construct of the platform basically consists of all these open source component, many of them, right. as I mentioned so earlier. Are, are you, okay, so you guys are internally using open source to transform what you're doing, but you're also engaged with the open source communities 
and letting them come in and work with you and letting them have access to what you're doing? Okay, first of all, it's openness, collaboration, mm -hmm. and sharing. So it's not individual vendor will take all. Right. It's the multi-vendor environment, especially we came from the, you know, the telecom world. It's a multi-vendor, multi-generation technology all come together. So for sure, we all need to be open at the component level to interwork with others. That's the beauty of the open source. Because open source, it quickly emerge, okay, and then consolidated by the industry. That's why we need to get engaged. So we understand what are the technology and this consolidation, it's secure the openness because it's a community, right, in the industry. So that's the openness comes in where we work substantial. That's why it's important six years ago we made a strategic decision to con to contribute to the open source community. Now many people in open source community are not familiar with with, with because we're yeah. in telecom, in, in the Southeast server Asia. networks and so on, right? Yeah. But in the platform layer, definitely we have been learning substantially and contribute significantly. And also in certain strategic important area, we actually start leading the activities. I can give you many such examples. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I have a question though about, so you know, you're a large company, you have a lot of people that work for Huawei, and <coughs> most companies of your size need to make sure that what they do, what they invest in, has a return for them. Yes. How is open source <laughs> contributing to your return on your yes. investments? Yes, uh, that's, uh, uh, okay. If you look at overall, it's in the transformation. Okay, the whole thing's in the transformation, ICT infrastructures. So, it's a clear from the long-term strategy perspective. As I mentioned, the whole digital economy is open, it's collaboration, it's a sharing. Now, so that's important to build the, we call solid ecosystems foundation so everyone can come and play together. That's about the new digital economy. That is why we uh, decided, right? And also what you just pointed out, the strategy in the last six years after the strategy is made, right? So we also internally, across different organizations, different product unit, our research labs, now how to cross the, the measure that, uh, yeah. organizations and leverage each other. That is a strategic understanding of the long term you know, for the cloud transformation, the openness, collaborations, and sharing. That's what we have been doing that, and over the last six years, we have learned a lot. Now, when I say learn a lot, not just through the participation of open source community, what emerging technology, or also internally. You know, it's very different from the traditional product, siloed product uh, development, right, engineering development. It's actually many of these things, what I mentioned, like you look at the Hadoop, Spark, where we're top two, top four contributor. Even in open stacks, like we are uh, top five to eight, depending on different measures, yep. in open stack commitment, right? So, so, therefore, that is the importance because many of these components touches all these platforms and individual products. So it's a coordinate internally and participate ex actively engage with the open source community. That is what we have been uh, are doing. That's an excellent strategy and we look forward to working <laughs> with you on how this all unfolds in the next few years. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Okay, right.